It's not surprising that Lazzarini Design Studio came up with a turtle-shaped vessel big enough to accommodate an entire city. A humongous Terra yacht concept, with the capacity to accommodate thousands upon thousands of seafarers, was unveiled by the disruptive Italian firm. Just like its namesake, it's 1,800 feet long and 2,000 feet wide at its wings, making it the world's largest floating structure if built. The vessel is covered in solar panels that produce clean power from the sun for the hotel load and propulsion system. A maximum speed of 5 knots could be reached by Pangeos, which is powered by 9 electric motors with 16,800 horsepower each. The Pangeos is like a 5-star resort, a cruise ship, and a city on board all at once. With a combination of villas and apartments, Lazzarini says this thing can accommodate up to 60,000 guests. The yacht features a rooftop mall, sprawling gardens, several pools, as well as a supersized beach club, also helipads, hangars, and marinas for storing choppers, toys, and tender. Introducing the Air Yacht V2, a crazy flying yacht concept unlike any other. The Air Yacht V2 was created by Lazzarini Designs and looks like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. It consists of two massive blimps powered by helium and is designed to be a billionaire's play toy. A tri-hull design, the V2 has a center hull sandwiched between two blimps that measure 169 meters or 554 feet in length. Each blimp has solar panels, batteries, and counter-rotating electric motors with 950 horsepower. The blimps utilize motors to land on the water, and they were designed to be able to fly without stopping for up to 48 hours. Their speed isn't a strong point, but it can house up to 20 people and 10 luxury cabins. While there's no mention of it in V2, the original air yacht had a helipad and swimming pool on board too. The Paguras, or Crab Marins, are another innovative watercraft design proposed by the Italian designer Pier Paolo Lazzarini. These are a 25-meter-long amphibious catamaran powered by solar energy, allowing them to travel both on and off the water. The twin steel hulls can be configured with up to three bedrooms, including a kitchen and toilet, and it can accommodate eight passengers plus four crew members. The boat's propulsion is achieved via dual-stern drive propellers coupled with the twin 890 HP diesel engines, which have the capability to move the Paguras at an estimated speed of 24 knots. When the Paguras reaches dry land, the rotating cylinders reduce in height towards the ground, transforming it into an amphibious vehicle capable of moving on sand or mud terrain, similar to a crab. Lazzarini shares that one of their first Rabmarins can be built for a price of 24 million euros. The Sig Maxis Life Home V90 Villa Edition is a very different style of Asian RV than the tiny Japanese and Korean mini campers that inspire endless wanderlust. The Life Home V90 Villa Edition from Sig Maxis is one of the most astonishing RV designs that we've seen in recent years. One of the more aggressive features of this design is the built-in glass house on the upper level, not to mention the small balcony on the driver's side. These features are integrated into a Class C alcove platform with split window panels that can fold in at night below the oversized roof. This RV expansion is all about simplifying your life. The pop-up roof is designed to expand to reveal a full upper level, complete with a Zen tea room, walkout deck, and elevator access. This elevated space adds 133 square feet, providing an open sunlight room where you could enjoy some privacy by changing the window's opacity. Featuring a pair of slide-outs on the first floor and a pop-up full-height glass-encased second floor with its own elevator, this RV could soon be a reality if someone can afford it. 413,000 US dollars to buy it. This is an electric vehicle combining a car and a motorcycle that's been unveiled by Toronto-based electric vehicle maker Daymac Avenir. This three-wheeled vehicle is destined to become the fastest three-wheeled electric vehicle in the world and the first to mine cryptocurrencies when it's not in use. 
Day Mac Avenir Spiritus is a fully loaded two-seater electric car that's quick, nimble, and eco-friendly. Get the base level Day Mac Avenir Spiritus, which comes standard with leading comfort and safety features and has a top speed of 137 kilometers an hour. Or go for the higher spec Day Mac Avenir Spiritus and enjoy mind bending acceleration with a top speed of 130 miles per hour. The Daymuck Spiritus offers an affordable entry point to green vehicles and cutting edge technology with an initial base model price of $20,000 US dollars. As a result of three years of development, Squad Mobility has launched the Squad Solar City Car, a two seater solar electric vehicle that can be driven without a driver's license in several EU countries. With its compact size and ability to provide both private and shared mobility, the compact Squad Solar City car will soon be able to bridge the gap between passenger EVs and electric two-wheelers. The Squad provides space for two tall passengers and extra luggage, totaling 68 liters of cargo space. The Squad is propelled by two kilowatt rear in-wheel motors, which are powered by four swappable 1.6 kilowatt lithium-ion battery packs. The Squad Solar City car is launching in the U.S and it starts at $6,250. Researchers have built their own perching robot as a result of years of studying animal-inspired robots in the Kokoski Lab and bird-inspired aerial robots in the Lentic Lab. With Snag, a stereotypically nature-inspired aerial grasper, the robot can fly around, catch and carry objects, and perch on a variety of surfaces when attached to a quadcopter drone. However, in order to account for size of the quadcopter, Snag is based on the legs of a peregrine falcon. It has a 3D printed structure and motors that serve as muscles and tendons rather than bones. With Snag in place, Roderick also confirmed the robot's ability to catch objects thrown by hand, including prey dummies, cornhole bean bags, and tennis balls. And indeed, if we had robots with bird-like features, we could unlock new ways for studying the environment. And in order to help people who can't use the stairs independently to evacuate quickly and safely, TechCon has developed a series of evacuation mattresses. And TechCon's philosophy is simple – leave no one behind. In case of fire or other disaster, there's the S-Cape Plus, an easy-to-use, comfortable evacuation mattress that lets you safely remove immobile individuals from a building. Your colleagues shouldn't need to train extensively to use an evacuation mat. In fact, it should be so easy, they can be life-saving rescuers with just a quick glance at the visible instructions. Now, these innovative mats are manufactured in accordance with Swiss technology and provides antibacterial properties and eliminates harmful bacteria. Evacuation mats without this technology put patients at risk of contracting infections. Caltech researchers have created a bipedal robot that mixes the ideal locomotion of walking with flying. It's exceedingly nimble and capable of complex movements. Leo stands two and a half feet tall and has two legs that are piloted by three actuated joints, along with four propeller thrusters mounted at an angle at the robot's shoulders. When a person walks, they adjust the position and orientation of their leg to cause the center of mass to move forward while their balance is maintained. Despite being poked or prodded with a lot of force, it can remain upright easily. Its ability to walk slack lines, hop, and even skateboard is the result of the newly developed Leonardo, short for legs, on board, drone. In order to achieve a fine degree of balance control, the Leo robot uses multi-joint legs and propeller-driven thrusters developed by a team at Caltech Center for Autonomous Systems and Technologies. The new updated bot has a height of 75 centimeters or 2.5 feet, weighs 2.5 kilograms or 5.5 pounds, and can fly up to speeds of 3 meters per second. RoofSpace is a German company founded by Emanuel Schneider and Jacob Heider that develops easy-to-set-up rooftop tents for outdoor camping. RoofSpace One combines the advantages of both folding tents and hard shell tents in its first model. With an aluminum case that takes up only half of the car roof's surface area, the tent unfolds quickly, and it can be set up in just a minute. 
With its panorama mode, it can be mounted on virtually any car. And the most impressive feature is that it's designed to be recycled to the maximum extent possible after its life cycle, so about 90% of the tent can be recycled.